Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Deponia. Fens here. Hello. And uh, we're going to continue on after falling off of that uh, spaceship, I guess? Or freighter? Carrier? I don't remember what it was. But Star Cruiser? I don't know what the hell. Our plan didn't work. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, it kind of backfired a little bit. Alright, so uh, let's start taking looks around because of course in these games you have to take everything that you possibly can because if you don't need it immediately you'll need it later mm -hmm. oh, great. unless they're the bolt cutters the lock is still working. oh okay so we gotta oh man if only we had a bolt cutter for that lock yeah <laughs> you know what i appreciate about this game though it's all like contained in the scenes because if you notice like it gets rid of the extra inventory. Yes. yes. So, it's really handy with that. So, like, it's not one of those games where you can get to the end of the game and be like, oh, you didn't pick up this thing in Chapter 2? Well, you're fucked. Yeah, like a different point-and-click game I was playing. Apparently, I did one thing out of order, and I had to restart the whole game because it would not let me progress. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of games that do that, and, like, I... I, they're games that I haven't played myself, but I know of their reputation for it, and I'm like, I don't know if I can let's play that, because I kind of like the idea of doing them blind, because it's like figuring them out and doing them like a puzzle, but at the same time, it's like, yeah. If you, could you imagine doing a let's play, getting to that point, and be like, oh shit, I missed something? Yeah. It would suck. That would really suck. Okay. That's like the other one. I'm like, well, now I have to play it with the walkthrough open, so I don't fuck up like that. Yeah, and that's hey, not, is, not as fun. Is, is Rufus's audio okay on your end, or and Discord's just fucking it up for me? Yeah, why? What does it sound like for you? It's total garbled. Oh. I, I can't tell if it's Discord or if it's just... I think it's just Discord. Up. Uh, All right. Let me see if Discord I can... Discord hates me. Well, let me see if I can fix it. Well, well, it's okay, just as long as the recording's fine. Yeah, but I can always redo this. Is that better? Is this just... I don't know, he needs to talk. Yeah, much better. Aha! Okay. Uh, I just didn't want it to record like that. No, it's good. How boring is that? Well, we're gonna use the bull. Toro! Hey, I said... <laughs> oh, okay, so we can't use the bull. Is this entire area just mm. nothing? Nothing yet. Alright, to the village center. -la -la -la. <laughs> oh, this is a big area. What's going on here? Yeah. I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. <laughs> 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 oh, it's sad because it's, it's something that could happen. Uh, <laughs> all right. So obviously it wants us to go into town hall. Oh, Tony's shop. Wenzel's house. Oh, and Tony's house again. So we're back. Yes. Yeah, so that kind of puts you where we are. Okay. Well, uh, is it time for us to start looking around? Exploring? Um, sort of. <laughs> that is not what I expected. <laughs> That's interesting. What do we... Why can we turn on the r reservoir tap? I'm guessing that's something oh, for later. Oh, because you're going to need to do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, Honestly, kind of the best thing that you need to... D I mean... We, we have to go to town hall. Might as well, I mean... I guess you can start to collect stuff and things like that otherwise, but... Well, I'm sure the you game... Can also get, there's, things to, there's things to collect and do at town hall. Yeah, I'm sure the game will if the yell at me. Back, fear for their lives... They can call oh yeah, I mean, like it won't. Uh, this thing ruins many good escape plans. Yeah, this this game shouldn't specifically like get you stuck if you do things out of order. Yeah, so let's go out of order. There's still, <laughs> I mean, well, because it's, I mean, it is a puzzle. Like 
point and click games do have puzzles, so it's like you're not going to be too out of order. It's just you're going to pick up stuff out of order. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with this. Yeah. I I, I really want to see Tony's reaction of us coming back into her house and being like, "Well, <laughs> hello, I want to report a crime." Excuse me. Hello. Does it not work? Great. Inspector Gizmo seems to be out, but as soon as you accidentally drop the town elder's cane in the cesspool, he's right behind you. Uh, I'll give it another try later. Of course he is. Interesting. Uh, Wenzel's house or Tony's house? Well, we've been in Tony's house before. Why not Wenzel first? Like, go in a circle. Like, uh, go in le- a loop. Left or right? This yep. is Wenzel's house. Okay. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled. Because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying. Because you had space. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? I don't... <laughs> I also mm. want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. He's not going to be home, is he? Wenzel! Oh, he's right there. <laughs> hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You not get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, wow. thanks for all your stuff. <laughs> what? Wait, isn't that my chest? <laughs> I can have your stuff if your plan works out. But and your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but but well, that's settled then. <laughs> Good job, Wenzel. How did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. <laughs> but the only thing in there was this weird stick. <laughs> That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. Wh- why does he know? Kuvak's built on with this yeah. rod. Yeah. Well, if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, I haven't the slightest idea. Hey, maybe you can find water with the divining rod. And where, pray tell, would I start to look? In my basement? I should say that's highly improbable. Later. Exactly. Can can we take the divining rod? Don't even think about it, Rufus. No, no. It's mine now. But it's a family <laughs> heirloom. So, a gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait to give it a try. Maybe I can find a well somewhere near. And once I'm rich, we'll split 50-50. <laughs> I might lend you the rod for a couple of hours. Yep. Ah, uh, that's... <laughs> yep. What is this? Alright. There's a basement and there's a bathroom? Mm-hmm. Okay. Furnace. The only thing we can interact with here is the furnace. Okay. And there's something we can put into the furnace later. Okay. Good to know. Into the if you remember that later. <laughs> well, well. It'll lead you. It'll lead you there. Yeah, and nothing to interact with in the basement yet. Nope. Okay. Let's go to Tony's house. See what she thinks about us uh, failing yet again. Oh, well, she might be back at her shop though. Yeah, and yeah, there we go. Oh, we could get the chili pepper as well. Well, not yet, but remembering it. I mean, you can try, but... Everything's still the same here. Can't even take anything. Is there anything that we can take? Um. Can't take the bolt cutters, even though they're literally right there. Well, this. I mean, there's something else you 
really should be doing before all this. But you wanted to look around. Yeah. I'm nosy. I want to see all the things first. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh, can we take the torch? Ooh, we might be able to take things. Finally. What's the point in click game without taking things? Oh, yes. Well, it saves me trouble of coming back here. Yeah, well, no, 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 but I'm just saying, like, because you've just gone through a bunch of places without being able to take anything. Mm -hmm. But being able to pick something up go. in a point and click game is the best feeling of all time because you're like, <gasps> progress. Right? <laughs> yeah, and you're like, I found something. I did something. Now what do I do with it? <laughs> it's like it's like one of those I spy books and you're like, yes, I found something. Mm -hmm. Where's Waldo? <gasps> the same sort of feeling. I found yes. him. And then you move to the next page and you're like, how the fuck is anybody supposed to... <laughs> Particularly when you when you think you found him, but really it's that guy who looks just like him, but like with one small detail wrong. And like he's looking like directly like at you from where he is. Is like, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're wrong. Yep. Let's go into Tony's shop. Oh, she's probably in her shop because that makes a lot of sense. She works. Yeah. She works. You don't. She's not like Rufus. That is a low life. Well, yeah. she dated Rufus, so she can't be the highest of life either. Tony's in her store. If I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Oh, well, what the heck? Let's get this over. Yep, with. yep. This is what and I to want. Be, to be fair, he's one. Of, to be fair, he's the well, better-looking person out of most people on this place. So, <laughs> yeah, she is not Ginger. The man who defied yeah, the fair enough. The conqueror of the sky. The she's got a job. she's got dirty blonde hair. On his way to the upper spheres, and yet here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you. Or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh, but my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. <laughs> How's been? <business? laughs> like, uh, when did that interest you ever? Who says I take an interest? I'm just being extremely polite. <laughs> First and foremost, you have an extremely distorted view of yourself. Oh, that's because my reflection in the mirror is so blindingly bright. Oh. <laughs> Why so cranky? Why? You have destroyed my mailbox, devastated my backyard, gobbled down all my food supplies, and if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Oh, God. Oh, no. You're a horrible person, Rufus. He really is. I'd like to buy something. With what? Or did you get a job recently that I don't know anything about? Well, I'll pay you back. Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Those vouchers. They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. Cool. I'll take them. Hey, hands off. What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna need those later. The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Did you injure yourself again? Not yet. Too bad. You know what? Tell me when you have. I'll have a good long laugh, and then I'll give you the key. Okay, so if we prove that we're injured, we can get <laughs> the key. I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. You'll never get out of here. Never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. You can hear the voice Poor actress girl. crying. <laughs> yeah. She's dealt with this before. I've got to go. She's desperate for him to get away. Years, but here you still are. Stuff. Weights, anchors, <laughs> metal boots, hooks, all the things you need if you want to stay moored forever. Why was that one line so quiet? Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. All right, so this is all lumped together. Hook. Wait. Oh. All the th Hands off my stuff. 
What? I'm just browsing. Browsing is what paying customers do. What you mean is driving me nuts. Yeah. Oh, so we can grind something. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Voucher's there. Pull. This is where Tony's budgie cage used to hang, but he couldn't cope with her. So he skedaddled. He died of old age. Yeah, whatever you say. After you accidentally infected him with progeria. What? You know, I like my version better. Isn't um, that a, a degenerative disease? Yes, I don't. Uh, what? Uh, how? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought she was going to say that he poisoned it. All right, so when we get something to grind, we go back into Tony's shop, and she'll have a couple of things for us. Okay, alley last, and then we'll go into town hall. This way, I know, like, for later, where to do certain things. Mm-hmm. Because we know that we can get the key for first aid, and there are vouchers in there, and she has a grinder in her shop. What's in the alley? We get shanked. Blast signal. Hey, why aren't you working? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan. That's why. Huh, this is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better ask Hannock how this all works. This is gonna end up being another uh there's a bar here. An emergency station. This is gonna end up being another mini game. There's a parrot. There's a parrot. I know. I'm super excited about the parrot. <laughs> Hello, oh, Burb. Hey, There's also a lizard. Rufus. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Is it? Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell. And oh. A signal to the miner who will, on his part, prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, so we get ma magnets, and we put them on there, and then we can blow something up later. Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes. <gasps> no! Oh, what do you do when that happens? <laughs> a new parrot. No! Let's see. <laughs> I will take you, parrot. Uh, Talk to you later. See you, uh, Rufus. Exactly. Actually, I don't want the parrots to go with Rufus. It might actually live yeah, longer right. here than with Rufus. It'll go. The, it'll go the way of the budgie. Hmm. Hello. 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 Ah, I'm starving. Ah, I've eaten nothing but worms for days now. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't what? Um. Oh. Oh. The pony has a great place. It's a great place. Oh my god. Alright. Well, uh, his wife's cheating on him. <laughs> ah, Rufus. I thought you are on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tax? Oh no. Oh, that. oh well listen, Lonzo, I uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot. And uh <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah. Great. Thanks, I guess. No, you deserve that one. Dart? Dart! There you go. Uh, anything else? Red curtain. What's that supposed to be? Is Lonzo building a cactus press? Or a faster mixer? Impossible. He would surely have asked me to help. Mm. What's yeah, this right? dog on the wall? Yeah. Nat's piss. The only thing to drink on the planet. Huh. Not true. Luckily, I'm not susceptible to advertising. Huh. I could do with a steak now. What? Uh, because it's a the sign has a cow on it. Oh, I see. He's saying he's not susceptible to advertising. Huh. We can we have the sign now as well. 
Mm-hmm. Lonzo? Yeah. Long time no see, Lonzo. Long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kubac is. Nothing ever happens in Kubac. Yep, without me, this place would be dead. So, uh, wait, we're in Kuvak. What's Deponia? Pretty sad for all of you that I'll be the, the planet. Oh, and Kuvak is the city. Or village. Yep. Okay. How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course. I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. Mm. Uh, <laughs> find a new word that makes you look less like a frog. There you go. Well said, Lonzo. Well said. <laughs> Tony really gets on my nerves. Well, that's your version. Wait, did she come here too? Someone had to pay for the table you broke yesterday. Yeah, that was an awesome performance, wasn't it? Look at me! I'm Tony! Scold, scold, scold! Wine! Fret, fight, scream! <laughs> he just needs to be, like, yeah. thrown in jail or something, because he's such a piece of shit. Yeah, Jesus Christ, I don't want to play as him. She's... she's playing... like, she's paying for his mistakes and all of his fuck-ups. Why? I don't know. You won't believe what happened. Does she still actually like him? Probably right about that. So why don't you keep I hope not. She could do better, but I don't think there's better on this planet. Action, drama, romance? Oh, a dragon too. Uh, no. In that case, I'm not interested. Now that you mentioned I like Lonzo. There really was She could end up with Lonzo. <laughs> Tony with Lonzo. He's a businessman? I have to go. Owns a bar? And he likes dragons. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody who likes dragons is okay in my book. Alright. Uh, I guess let's check out the emergency station. Huh? The emergency station is closed for Never mind. Oh, great. Well, what if there's an emergency now? My nuclear power propelled satellite could crash into Kuvac. Your what? The grizzlies could break free from my treadmills. I mean, isn't anyone thinking on their feet here? He has a nuclear powered satellite no he's just he exaggerates i see well let's go to town hall finally <laughs> <laughs> everybody watching jesus Please about time line, people. draw a waiting <clears throat> oh, draw a waiting number <laughs> and the mayor will see you in a short while What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the dark exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story too. Mine even has a dragon in it, so move to the back of the line <laughs> and draw a number like everyone else. Well, we could get a, a number, but there's people to talk to. Mm. Is there anything else that we could see first? Ah, magnets. How, how are the... Things still up. What? You know what? Everything here is trash, so money might just be <laughs> sticky. <laughs> uh. All right, so we have the three magnets for <laughs> when we want to blow something up. All right, let's take a number, I guess. Number 66. Almost my lucky number. What's his lucky number? Well, close to 66, apparently. Spoil sport. Yeah, spoil sportress, I guess. The post office will be open o'clock? O'clock? <laughs> what o'clock? There's something missing here. <laughs> this doesn't have to be uh, <laughs> waited on. Bada boom. <laughs> you uh, don't talk. Hello, Lottie. <laughs> you too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? 
Princess Sugar. <clears throat> yeah. Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. That's always the same. <laughs> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured and immediately. Uh, I feel your pain, Lottie. <laughs> I feel your pain. Hussy! Hussy! <laughs> That's that's rude though. Come on. I want to see the Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when your number comes up. No exceptions. Oh, I get it. Especially not for you. Okay, so we're going to have to get rid of each of these guys using a different thing, I guess. And one of them's probably a minor, so we have to go blow something up. But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? No, I remember this part, so I, I remember what you have to do. Wenzel is also applying, but Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions. Hmm. I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that, me for <laughs> that won't be possible today. Mm. <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. Okay. Is it my turn already? No. When's when? I'll skid. Don't let the door. All right. Let's talk to these people. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotech thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community. And someone has to nurse her back to hell. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. Oh. You want her to scrub rust? Uh. That's why? What do you want the girl for? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, huh? What? Oh no. I, I don't want him I don't want to say this, but I want to see all the dialogue. The girl belongs yeah. to me. That'll be determined by the mayor. Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry, and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus... Oh, my God. ...raisins. Thanks very much. And... Uh... Oh. I see. Such a fucking idiot. Now I'm hungry. He's an idiot. No, really. Let me go first. Listen, Rufus, a minute ago, that was a nice little joke, but now it's half annoying and half sad. <laughs> Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> and I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. I'll skedaddle. All right. So I guess the idea is you go to the assembly hall to see her. Stop right there. Where do you think you Once you get once it becomes your turn. Ah. With goal. In that case, you're in the wrong place. This door leads to the mayor's office and access is strictly by numbers only. So draw a Yeah, they're not going to let you get through. Yeah. Off. Uh, what about the post office? Stop right the post office. <coughs> the post office is closed. <laughs> Until further notice. Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open! But there's no clock there. Very absurd. Oh, we need to put in a clock. Get away from that door! 
Oh no, we can just go back here. I have to oh. talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. I'm actually very surprised that you could. Apparently so. I guess you got to oh, cuz I guess you got to talk to the mayor to be able to uh take her. Yeah. Get her. Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all He's really creepy looking. This emergency station and right now I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. Oh, the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Is being creepy. A little bit. What? Why is she unconscious in his dreams? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't want to think about that. Oh no. That's enough. What? Oh Come no. On. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well. At least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further test, mm. she would have to be awake. He's a good and doctor. Mm -hmm. None of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Ah. Every coffee needs to be brewed. Yes, right. But hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the I see. A favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Mm. Oh, wacky plans have never done anyone any I mean, we need to find coffee first, but we know where the grinder is. File cabinet for patient's history. Yep. Why is it turned into a hand icon over goal? <laughs> this really is making you uncomfortable. It really is. Dr. Gizmo? What now? Like, I, I don't want to touch it. I think it's because it. you can't talk to her. No, I know, but I don't want to press it because, like, what if he actually starts to touch her? It, uh. I don't think he I don't think he does, if I remember correctly. He's just a weirdo and a creep. Yeah. Well, it's not that easy. I've already tried every stimulant I could find in my medicine cabinet. None of those were strong enough. She needs something much, much stronger. Something much, much stronger. Hmm. Sounds like a job for me. I am much, much stronger after all. Uh, sure. I will save her. Ha! Good luck. Did you bring some kind of miracle stimulant by any chance? Something that might wake her up? A kind of cup of coffee to the nth order? I'm working on it. Good. But do it someplace else. Okay. What are you waiting for? Help her! I would love to, but self-professed acquaintances of the patient are constantly interrupting me in my efforts. <laughs> <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. That sounds funny. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. <laughs> Think you can say that a thousand times in a row? <laughs> Why should I? I could even say get lost a thousand times in a row and you wouldn't get it. Damn. I appreciate everybody's shade towards him. I want to report he is an such emergency. a piece of shit. Emergency? What is it? Oh, we can explode something and say fire or something, and then I'll get him away. I have this unusual pain in my back. You should rest in bed at home. So get lost. Fire? Impossible. My fire protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in fire protection sensors? Yes, ever since you turned eight years old, you little brat. <laughs> <laughs> I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember Jesus. them too. Incredible how much you achieved with just eight candles. Oh no. Oh. Impossible. My theft protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in theft protection sensors? All emergency prevention tasks are united in one person, and that's me, as you very well know. A small village like Kuvac is just not big enough to have a doctor's practice, a fire department, and a police station separately. Or at least, 
That's what I thought. Ever since you turned eight, I'm not so sure about that anymore. <laughs> okay, then. No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> Could you leave me alone with her for a moment? No. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> for me? To make you even more annoying? I don't think so. I've used up most of the stimulants on the patient, but to no avail. Everybody's so done with his bullshit. Yeah, I kind of love it. He deserves it. No one except me is allowed to access it. Yeah, he really does. What was that? Uh, time for me to leave. Uh, That's why okay, there's telling. stimulants in his medicine cabinet in his office. Yeah, which was the locked room near the, um, near the parrot. Okay. So there are some things to pick up here. Yeah, I'm just seeing what happens. Mm-hmm. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, yeah, it's just that I'm an expert in sleep. Okay. Uh, back to the assembly hall. Uh, there's a doorknob. There's a cardboard box. The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for, and why my face is on some of them. What? Why is his face on the balloon? <laughs> Do I want to know? My guess is it's a celebration for when he leaves. Oh. Or else it's target practice and they shoot at them. Either one of those could make sense. Is there anything up here that I missed? No. Alright, that's everything here. Okay. Um, so the, the one thing, there's two things we can do right now. We can go to Wenzel and we can put the magnets on the board. This kid hasn't talked at all. Oh, nope. I'll skedaddle. All right. Uh, magnets? Mm-hmm. But do you know where to put the magnets? No, no, I don't. Not yet. Or maybe to blow up that door. <laughs> no. This is a map. I'd better ask. Wait, I don't think we can even do it yet. Hello again, Rufus. Exactly. How does that detonation? Oh, the chief. Then and I and after. Right. That oh, I guess we don't want to use you're it. Not the chief. Yeah, we don't want to use it until we know how. Okay. Wentzel it is, then. But I'm guessing we have to find some coffee, grind it up in Tony's shop, take it to Tony's house because there's a boiling pot of water there. Well, there was another uh, dialogue option for Lonzo that has been unlocked, by the way. Oh. Should we talk to Wentzel? Hey, Wenzel. What's up? You're holding up the line. By the way, you're holding up the line. So what? As long as I haven't found a water vein, I don't even have to show up. Interesting. Okay, so he doesn't... Uh, he. This just stops us. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who? Yeah, I think you do need to talk to Lonzo so that you can start to... You, by any chance. Hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. You're right. There really does seem to be... <laughs> he is the woman that needs rescuing. Yeah. I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. <laughs> no, you're getting this all wrong. Oh, I God. Saved her. Of course you did. Don't you want to go to the town hall? To apply for giving shelter to the Elysian woman? The thought has crossed my mind. I even got a waiting number. But then I thought, what have I got to offer? Yeah, nothing. If I were rich or found a water vein, I might have a chance. But like this. Okay. Later. Exactly. I'll go talk to Lonzo. You do need to talk to Lonzo because, yeah, yeah, what the dialogue option unlocks will be more things for you to find. Okay. And so things will... Oh, because we probably yeah. talked to him about getting coffee because he owns a bar. Mm hmm. Makes sense. All right. Into the bar. 
come and knock on our door. <laughs> Lonzo. Yeah. Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when uh, <laughs> idiots are quarreling. <laughs> yes. <gasps> yeah. Do you have something Sounds about right. Someone a real boost. Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil? <laughs> no, this is not about simple Jesus. Coffee. I need something that really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo? Are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. Now we get to find out. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. Max Rebo's uh, coffee maker. I. Oh boy. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. What? Uh, uh, uh. Hey. Wow. You have a pipes? Tanks? Valves? It's a. It's a. a it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. <laughs> but this is not just any God. espresso machine. This is the mother <laughs> of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. Yes. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Mm. Uh huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients I Okay. Need. Take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. my lord. I need clear, reviving, and energy rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Cuba. Yeah, never mind. Though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Okay. Oh, yeah. This will go well. Yeah, totally. The cup is still empty. Still being the operative word here. Okay. So let's take a look at this again. So revitalizing liquid. I uh, don't know what that could be just yet. Energy rich water. Well, we, we have the regular water that we can turn on from the thing. <laughs> uh, clear water. Extraordinary stimulating uh, medicine cabinet. Black powder from the mine. Hot beans. Bonzo will give you some hints if you talk to him again. Yeah, hot beans. Uh, we know where that is, but we just need like gloves or something to get it. Yeah, because they're literally hot to the touch. To mm -hmm. It's all written down on the recipe I gave you. Just bring me everything that's on the list. Till then, I'll do some fine tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. All right. About the powder. Tell me. Do you have any idea what kind of blackish powder is needed for this recipe? I have no idea. I don't think they're talking about black powder. Black Pepper. Powder. I said mm. it's probably not black powder, but black powder is blackish. Listen, this machine works with high pressure and extreme heat. <laughs> if you put black oh god oh, no. into the yada yada yada, yeah. don't worry about the ingredients and you'll prepare. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm starting to regret <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, you should have started lots sooner. I have no idea. Maybe some kind of stimulant? Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some in his office. Oh, that reminds me. Maybe Dr. Gizmo oh my has God. some kind of stimulant in his office. <laughs> That's just oh. what I said. You did? Maybe I'd listen more carefully if you said something useful from time to time. Oh, I guess I had that coming. No, no you didn't. 
Don't worry. Hurry up. I can't wait to. Okay. Uh, about the water. Keep it flowing. Clean water? Where can I get clean water? Clean water is a meal. We need the divining rod for <laughs> that. My father always told me that story. Yeah. About how he found Which is what we need the explosive thing for. Fresh, clean spring water. No. Oh. You're talking about for the um the magnets? Yeah. No, there's something else you need those for. Okay. Energy rich water. What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. Hanek told me they sometimes find batteries in the trap. Oh no. How about you ask him? Oh sheesh. This whole quest is exhausting. Exhausting. Hanek Battery acid. In front of this building. Hanek! I guess you'll have to move a few steps into his direction and talk to him directly. Hmm. Exhausting and stressful. The recipe says something about a revitalizing liquid. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. A liquid that makes something inanimate come to life again? That sounds scary. What's scary about that? Just imagine, a freezer making breakfast in bed for you. Yeah, obviously you've never been in a pony. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Don't shit. Go. Wow. I'll manage. Hurry up. I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. Okay. Getting all the ingredients. You do that. I'll be here if you need me. Well, let's go to talk to uh, Hans. Hanek. I was about to call him Hanzo for some reason. <laughs> oh? Uh, what was that? Oh, the emergency station has opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. I don't know what that means, but okay. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rufus. Exactly. Let's see. Uh, do you have any idea where I can get water that's rich with energy? Mm, very often we find batteries in the junk. Those are always filled with some kind of liquid. We call it battery. Salt. Did you ever do the first dialogue option? Yeah. Is that what you mean? So why aren't you working on it? Yeah. Why aren't okay. you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker yeah. removed the magnet. Remove magnets. Okay. Getting things and uh, and 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 well. How about you find some new magnets? Do you know you didn't? You should have been able to put these on the detonation plan. But it did. Weird. See you, Rufus. Exactly. Okay. Well, Try the magnets. This is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better. Oh right. Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. But I don't know what I want to explode yet. That's okay. You don't have to explode it yet. Yeah. Let's <laughs> start exploding everything. I mean, you can just start exploding places and it won't necessarily do something. Do anything unless it was the right thing. Really? Mm-hmm. Laughing gas. Dentist drill. And a scalpel. Sure, we're gonna need those. We should not have yeah, sharp right? objects. It's the last tree left. I hope it doesn't croak. I mean, where would I test my herbicide? Jesus Christ. Crap. Locked. Distrust everywhere. Did you click the, the laughing gas? Amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> Clowns. I'm guessing we need to Jesus Christ, put something Rufus. on it to get oh, balloons. Yep. Balloon filled with laughing gas. How many can we make? No, one will do for now. It says you. I guess just one at a time. <laughs> what does this do? <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unknown. Oh. So that opens a police box. It looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. Foot fetters? What the hell is that? That's not gonna flee. Oh. 
It's like a shackle, I like see. the ball and chain. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Don't be sarcastic to yourself. Such an asshole. Oh no, we're gonna take that. But what can I put it on? That's not gonna flee. On the lever? Hmm. Anything here? Foot fetters on the doctor's cabinet? Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn. That would have been a piece of cake with the right tool. <laughs> Do we actually need a lock pick? Did you do all three? No. Remember, you can go down yeah, again. Yeah, there we go. Asbestos gloves. We need that for the chili. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything else? No. Okay. And fire extinguisher. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter, though, because I'm always cautious. Hmm. And then a fire escape. And a hatch. In the platform, it's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. You're not, but okay. Since the retirement home, huh? For fetters on the hatch. If the fetters weren't so wide, I could attach them to the hole over there. Ah, but they are too wide. Huh? Do we have anything? No. I'm not sure. Where does the fire escape go? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Can we use the drill to get through anything? Luckily, I'm a gift. Nope. How do I clear a windshield that's lost its... I think you actually get a key for the car. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Did you look on. at the bull? I did, yeah. You have to be age six or older mm. to use... Oh, but I'm not entirely sure what... Okay, there was still stuff to... Yeah, there was still stuff to get in uh, Gizmo's office. <laughs> hmm, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make him climb up the pole. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, um... Oh, there's a lockpick in there. But... So grating. No grate in the world can hold me back. <laughs> there. It moved while you were blinking. Okay, so how do I get to this lock pick? I don't have anything in my inventory for it. Do you want to know how to do it? Maybe. It's too heavy to doesn't matter because we know when you want to. Uh maybe in a moment. Yeah, this one's a little Weird. I'm trying to see like what else makes sense to interact with, but these never quite make sense. Yeah. So, it mentioned the fetters with the tree. It called that out specifically. No, it didn't. Well, when I tried, it did. No, it didn't. So we need that lock pick. Yeah. I'm not Entirely sure. Dart at the handcuffs? Although I could hit them for sure, I'll never be able to get them down that way. Dart at the lockpick? No. Hmm. Balloon on the lever? No. Huh. 
And it doesn't want me to, it doesn't want to let me use the fetters on the lever either. That's not going to flee. No. The fetter goes somewhere else. Hmm. I'm not sure. Give me a hint. Put the fe put the fetter in the cabinet right now. Oh, okay. And then pull it to the fire station. Oh. Right. How was I supposed to know it does that? I know, that's a really dumb one. Okay, that gives us handcuffs. Mm hmm. Handcuffs, lockpick? No. Uh, so now what you do is you go back to goal with your handcuffs. Uh -huh. No, I'm not, I'm not being serious. Oh. <laughs> I was, I was, I was being silly. <laughs> I mean, the, I, it's, it's a point and click. Go, I know. Go to, go to, uh, um, go to the fire station again. Now use the handcuffs on the hatch. Hatch? Yes. Remember the hatch to the right? Oh. Okay. Because you see where it's it's hooked to uh, the ah um, I see I see to the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't. So I didn't now, if you go to the that. police station with the lockpick, yep. it keeps it open, yep. and we go in from below. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Well, let's go grab that. Because then, with the lockpick, we can do quite a lot of things, actually. Mm -hmm. Assuming that we can use the lockpick for multiple things. Uh, pretty sure. Alright, give me the lockpick. There we go. Alright. No, you can use it on the grating. Oh. You can use it you can use it to let yourself out. Well that was easy. Yeah. Alright, let's grab okay. this. Yeah. Ugh, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. Syringe? Yeah, I'm sure you have. Like, I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle. So what? Okay, so we have stimulant and a syringe. I feel like there's something we needed the syringe yes. for, but I don't remember. I'm curious. Does the cell close again? No, it's open now. All right, well, let's go down here. Let's see if we can use the lockpick on the car. N no? Okay, that was weird. Lockpick car? Luckily, I'm a gifted lockpicker. What? Not even with me. Ah. What kind of a lockpick is this? Okay. So the key to this is somewhere else. That's fine. We can probably... Yeah, you've got the gloves. Yeah, and not only that, I th can't we pick open the um, first aid cabinet? Probably. Well, let's try it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Oh, no, you're not going to be able to. You get the key from her. Oh. Okay. Asbestos There gloves. is something else that... Uh, there is something else that you were supposed to do. Um, but it's with stuff that's in your inventory. Oh. There's a mixy thing, huh? Yep. Uh, so look at what you have. Yeah, let me see. Think about what you need. Oh. What did you do? Nope. <laughs> syringe the laughing gas. On the syringe it says yeah, as if I need a special. Uh let's see. Chili pepper? 
No, it was. Ah, fire in the inventory! Fire in the inventory! <laughs> Wish I had some kind of protection. What? Oh, oh, oh okay. Um. Think about think about what you need. What's on your list? What's on your list of things to get? Let's see. Revitalizing liquid, energy, rich water, clear water, black powder. So. I look back at what's in here. Never. My Antonio. It's not the hand torch, is it? No. I don't know. You need black powder. Right. Oh. Well, there we go. Black powder. I really thought we were going to get that from the uh from the miners. Okay. Well, we've we we're on a mission, and uh, we're gonna have to keep looking for stuff. But that'll be the end of this episode for now. <laughs> we're halfway there, right? We we got all the stuff on the bottom. Now we just need water. So, uh, actually, do you want to just? Oh yeah, we can combine. Do you want to just get one more? We can go. Yeah, grind you can them. combine this. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Real sure. Fast? Yeah. Let's go grind it all together and make the powder. Might as well end it on that, right? Yeah. Let's go grind it up. We go to the hooks again real fast, too. Hands off my stuff. Wait, anchor all the th Nothing about the hook. Why is he not trying to take? He's supposed to try to take them. A pinch of black powder. Cause that's how you get the key. Chili. Maybe we have to do it after this. Chili and stimulant. Stimulant. You just put it in with the bottle. Yeah. The extra glass will give you some pep. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer, <laughs> or Savior. Oh God! No, Slayer sounds much better. Oh no! No, no, no! It no. does not. No, it does not. Hands off my stuff. Why is he? Hands Why is he not trying to take them? Maybe. No idea. I'm confusion. Well, we'll figure it out next yeah. time. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.